fire, orgiastic hysterical beat of drums, these blood-drenched, demon-maddened rituals are offered in supplication to such heathen deities as the powerful snake spirit, Dambala, and the many lesser spirits, or lower, that possess the souls of the wretched, miserable human beings held in this demon bondage. Animals are killed in weird sacrificial rites. Even cases of human sacrifices are on record. A far-off, distant land? No, not very far away. Just two and a half hours by airplane from Miami, Florida, a few miles beyond the eastern tip of Cuba. Miracles today. With missionary evangelist A. A. Allen, God's man of faith and power. Evangelist Allen and his party of devoted missionaries offer this program which was filmed during the A. A. Allen Mission to Haiti. Occupying the western third of the island Hispaniola and the Caribbean Sea, Haiti is the second oldest republic in the western hemisphere. Established in 1804, when the slaves brought from Africa revolted from their French masters, the stately presidential palace in Port-au-Prince is a monument to the determined bravery of the slaves who broke their bonds and raised the flag of their own independent republic. The harbor, with its ocean liners, fishing catches, cargo vessels, and pleasure boats, is the biggest doorway to the city of Port-au-Prince. The bustle of activity seems to start there, at the quay. The movement of people of all sizes, with their burdens of all sizes, pushed on wheels and carried on heads, moving to and from the warehouses and market areas. Coffee is the major export, and there is hope that the production and shipment of sugar will once again equal the records of the late 18th century, when Haiti, as a French colony, shipped 160 million pounds per year. Open-air markets and vendors abound, from the docks and wharves, the adjoining quays, right into the heart of the teeming, bustling, traffic-laden, colorful, capital city of the Haitian Republic. Port-au-Prince is constantly alive with the mixed traffic of tropical city commerce. The swirl of activity is centered at the famous iron market, where one may buy native art and handicrafts, tortoiseshell combs and jewelry, cloth and bright African prints, and many fine imported items at free port prices. The imported luxuries, however, are for the tourist, not the poverty-stricken Haitian. In recent years, political confusion, drought, and a hurricane have plunged the small republic into economic chaos. Three and a half million people with a per capita income of less than $70 a year. But the native eye can always be caught by an item within reach of the budget. The Haitians are restlessly enterprising, determined to solve their economic problems, and always on the go to do so. Public conveyance is by taxi cab and these unique buses. The buses take anything that must go and can find space. In this case, the pig on the roof seems comfortable and ready for the journey. In Carib Indian dialect, Haiti means high land and four-fifths of the country is mountainous, with well-traveled roads lined with brilliant flowers and shrubbery leading to the towns and villages of the hinterlands. Haitians are proud of their heritage of a hard-won freedom from slavery. Foreigners are welcomed as equals, and burdens are carried with pride, dignity, and a purposeful grace. The dignity even seems to reach bare feet. Markets in the country are crowded too, but the merchandise here is mainly foodstuff of one kind or another, rice, corn, and cornmeal. The Haitians are close to the products of their toil, their products of livelihood, but they bear a deeper burden, these people with their roots in darkest Africa. Here are their breads and rolls and cakes, but many Haitians are in need of another bread, the bread of life the Gospels of our Lord. From the pagan idol worship of their ancestors in Africa, fired by their suffering and slavery, has grown a violent devil worship. Here now is a presentation of some of the demon-possessed rites of voodoo. This is
is the Hungan, or voodoo priest. He is calling upon certain spirits to attend these dancers and inspire the ritual dance about to be performed. In his hand is the Asan, a gourd rattle decorated with beads and snake vertebra and having a small bell attached. This is the symbol of the Hungan's office and magical power. These are the Hunsi, the Hungan's female assistants. The dance begins. Static dance of fire performed by the Mambo, the voodoo priestess. frightening custom of voodoo is the raising of the dead, the creation of the zombie, the living dead. Here now is the ceremony involved in that fiendish rite. Under the sheet is the alleged corpse. Demon spirits are called to take possession of the body, giving it the appearance of life. Assistants to the Hungan begin the ceremony. Rum and oil is poured on the sand floor of the Hun Fort or voodoo temple. The Hungan is about to make his entrance and take charge of the ceremony. Voodooism has taken elements of Christian beliefs and practices learned from the missionaries, deformed and twisted them, and incorporated them into their pagan rites. St. Patrick, for instance, because he was pictured with snakes at his feet, was interpreted as being in collaboration with the snake god, Dambala. And in many home forts, the saint who brought Christianity to Ireland can be seen represented as completely voodooized. They have taken the sign of the cross, the symbol of the instrument by which Jesus divested the world of its sins, and like simple deluded children with insufficient knowledge and no logical reason, made it a part of their heathen ceremonial rites.
chicken is to be sacrificed in weird ceremony. The hungang filthily sprays out a mouthful of rum and starts the spell. Hysteria in the human medium is introduced. The spell is augmented. The hysteria mounts. The hungang casts the spell deeper and the medium is completely lost in orgiastic mania. The blood ceremony is underway. The demon-possessed medium now assisting the hungan. regions of the world where large numbers are persistently denying Christ. And missions must go forth to the areas which have not yet heard the gospel. Communism, another plague of the devil, is a curse to other millions. The unfortunate souls under the domination of the devil must hear the prayer of deliverance. And with that prayer, the fires of the devil will die out. His drums will fall silent and people will answer the call to Christ, and hands will be raised in praise of Jesus' name. Join us now in a service with missionary evangelist A. A. Allen, in which he ministered to the people of Haiti during his great campaign of deliverance there. Now, this is God's word. And this is God's promise. 
Ça, c'est la promesse de Dieu. C'est la promesse de Dieu pour délivrer n'importe qui dans le monde. Et qui croit dans le nom de Jésus-Christ est capable de la délivrer. Ou comme ça, il est n'importe qui, n'importe qui, ça veut dire n'importe qui de mon côté. Et ça, ça, pour faire ce n'est pas rien que l'on difficile. Jésus est capable de délivrer mon péché. Il est capable de délivrer de la maladie. Il est capable de délivrer de l'infirmité. Il est capable de délivrer de cancer. Il est capable de faire de la justice. Il est capable de délivrer de tout le bagage qui est capable de me récolter. Dans n'importe quelle place que vous êtes campé là, aux alentours, vous pouvez aller dans le nom de Jésus que Jésus est capable de aller là. N'importe qui comme moi dit qui veut aller dans le nom de Jésus-Christ, ça sera capable de la délivrance. N'importe qui a des péchés qui ont été capables de délivrer, bon Dieu, bon Dieu, capable de délivrer. Pour chaque personne qui a des péchés qui ont 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 des péchés si vous voulez, Jésus-Christ est capable de vous aller avec la liberté. Il te fait dire dans la Bible, je ne connais que le bac à mentir. Tout le bagage que je dis dans la Bible, tout se fait pour réaliser. Si vous croyez dans ce que je prêche, à ce que nous dit Amen. On y est là, tu es samedi. Préparez-nous, préparez-nous pour nous aller les bons dieux. Et bon Dieu, qui va le délivrer mon tout à l'heure, de péché, de maladie, de tout bagaille. Tout le monde qui veut réellement délivrer de péché, de maladie, vous entendez ça, je vous dis, nous connaissons. Crawl under that wire, crawl under the fence and come running down here and stand in front of me. Tout le monde que qui désire ça, nous dit qu'on est capable de venir dans la place là, de venir en face moi là. Et chaque monde qui va être là, comme ça, bon Dieu, capable de aller libre. Tout le monde capable de venir bien vite. Nous capable de venir devant là, comme ça. Venez vite, venez vite. Nous connaissons que bon Dieu capable de nous la délivrer. À ce soir, c'est le jour de délivrance. À ce soir, c'est le jour de délivrance. Come running. Vini boys here. Now raise both hands. Unya na plebe menu ale. Say, Oh Jesus. Na ti priya sa, Oh Jesus. Hear me tonight. Kere mu ya swea. Let me free Jesus. Boi malé avec liberté mu. Oh God, deliver me. Oh bon Dieu, délivre mu. Hear my cry. Oh, bon Dieu, t'es décrié, moi. Set me free from sin. De vous délivrer me de péché. Now, God, I call on your name. Oh, Seigneur, sois amoureux les dents. Non. Hear me now. Oh, guéris me, Kounia. Deliver me, Jesus. Délivre moi, Jésus. Deliver me from sin and the devil. Délivre moi de puissance de Satan. Just say thank you, Jesus. Mais ça nous plaît, dit Kounia, nous plaît, dit merci, Seigneur. Merci Seigneur. And now we're going to march over this ramp. Et qu'on y est là, nous pourrons passer. Mon qui malade pourra passer sous la colonne là. When you get right here, put up both hands and say, Jesus. Et chaque fois, et chaque fois, chaque monde malade qui vivait là, je pourrais mettre mes sous terre, nous capables de lever deux mains en l'air et nous capables de Jésus capable de lever. Amen. Amen. Right this way. Put up both hands. Levez deux mains en l'air, capables de lever. Jésus. Will you go to the mission fields and help to bring Christ to the millions who are bound by devil worship and paganism? Evangelist Allen has gone and will continue to go. The devil's advocates, those embracing paganism and the soul-killing antichrist scourge of communism are dedicated 
bound to the devil's work of capturing the soul of man. We who follow Christ must be more strongly dedicated. Will you go? Will you bring Christ to those who need him? Or will you help others go? Evangelist A.A. A. Allen needs your help and your prayers. Help him who fights to bring the glorious salvation of Jesus Christ to the needy around the world. Did you know that though Jesus said, Go ye into all the world, there are still teeming millions, and may I say, this country here alone, 140 million waiting in darkness. Then, should I take you here into India? 700 villages here alone and cities where there has never been one witness. You can do something about this. You can write me a letter today and say, Brother Allen, I enjoyed the film you showed on your telecast, but I want to help take the bread of life to the millions. I'd like to send you this free missionary pictorial, amazing pictures which we made overseas, and some will be hard to believe, but you'll enjoy it. That's our free missionary pictorial. Is your missionary dollar preaching this gospel? You'll enjoy this, and it'll be light from heaven. If you're not a regular subscriber to Miracle Magazine, write for our free missionary edition of Miracle Magazine. 32 pages in beautiful color of our great overseas campaigns and the thousands that heard the gospel every night and they were converted and saved and great miracles before and after pictures that God performed among the heathen when they heard this gospel preach the power. Right for it today. And remember, it is your offering that takes the bread of life to these multitudes over the sea. I want you there with your offering to help us feed them the bread which Jesus told us to give them, which is the bread of life. Write me today and make your enclosure generous and say this is to take bread to the millions that are dying and have never had one crumb. A mailing address again, A.A. A. Allen, Miracle Valley, Arizona. Write me today and watch again next Sunday over the same channel. Till then, goodbye. Mail your contributions to the Mission Fund, your letters and your prayer requests, to A.A. A. Allen, Miracle Valley, Arizona.